I think I had more wins than losses on the Fubuki because this was 30, but this is obviously less than 50. So I still got to figure out how to use this line in such a way as to force wins. Or I was thinking about this. Hello, Gato Pelion. Or the second option is that say 60% of the games I'm playing who where I'm supposed to be or better, but 40% of the games I'm doing something stupid. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> because of inexperience or something. So it absolutely could be that. It could be that I have, you know, maybe I've got the ideas that I need to be having, the movements that I need to be having, but my mistakes that I haven't ironed out of my play for this line or whatever are just... They sneak in, they're considerable, and when they happen, it's just... It's, it's critical nut punch, man. <laughs> oh, you know. Could be. At least... That's the working theory. Personal and team progress need points. How does that work? That works with this thing, right? I don't know. Whatever, man. I'm just gonna play. I need flags, and I'm not playing the lightning, I'm playing the Kagero. Uh. Fire flags are low, so we can do that. Get some flags. What are these streams? Am I on EU now? Uh, I, I streamed from home, I, I wasn't working yesterday, so I started at 5.30 in the morning. And I uh, went for about eight hours, and then I was pretty, pretty tired, so I stopped. Need fire flags. This. Um. Watched some other stuff, hung out. I still have things I need to do. Like, um. I still have to edit out videos of the Twitch streams that I had over the past, like, two weeks. I've been putting that off. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff I should probably throw away. Not that it's bad, just I've accumulated stuff. And I'm not a pack rat, but I mean, if, if something could be useful, do you really want to throw it away? But I guess I just have more stuff than I have places to put it, so I'll just throw it away. Congrats on Solo Warrior, Diego. <sighs> Good morning, how are you? Tired. But I'm still mentally, I don't know, intrigued? It's been a weird line. It's been an interesting experience, I guess. But it's a weird line. Hello, Nip on Steel. Okay, so one of the things that I identified before is that in order for me to play quote-unquote aggressive with my concealment, I need to have people that are going to use that. Theoretically, we have a Sela Mizumo, so we could use that. We do have a Des Moines Buffalo, potentially Minotaur radar. Also, Seattle, potentially Neptune radar. So this is a fair amount of radar to pay attention to. <laughs> Hello, Angelic Cypher, raiding with a party of 30, 30 raiders. Man, I just showed up. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, 
I think I fell asleep at like 8 o'clock in the afternoon. And I woke up at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> and now it's 2.30 in the morning, so I thought I'd stream. Uh, I played the, the Japanese torpedo boat line for like 8 to 8 and a half hours yesterday. Tough line. Interesting. Uh, it's been an experience. Ups and downs. <laughs> um, but it's been a learning experience, so I kind of wanted to jump back into it. Thank you very much for the raid, good sir. How was your stream? Am I well? I'm okay. Oh, goodness. You could absolutely be radar trapped. I have no idea, you know, what's out there. Oh, Mizuma didn't wake up. That's kind of a bitch. Activated. So typically somebody's gonna Critical hold radar until you get in the cap. Thankfully though, he's not in a position to really capitalize on this. So that's good. Probably 20 seconds through. But usually you want to keep this in the pants, so to speak, and uh, hold the radar down. But... Something's still in that area. Locate okay, Bangled to the threat. Des Moines radar is stopped. We see a Seattle. We don't know where the Buffalo is. And I'm not really... I mean, I'm partially moving this way to, to contest the cap. But I'm also moving this way in an attempt to get information because we have extremely low detection. And the enemy Kagero might be here. See that the ZF6, that's the ZF6, so it is the CAG, which means we can briefly spot the CAG. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes astern. Minotaur? Guess so. So many of those shells were inaccurate, only for the other ones to matter. So, I did light that, but uh, I guess these guys just didn't... weren't in position to do anything with it, so... Alright, well, if there's a Minotaur over here, then we're gonna lose half our health. Showing this dude to that dude, then I guess there's nothing to do here. That sucks. I need intelligence data. Largely good, finally getting a handle on your worst CV line. Good. Well, I mean, if, if that's what's going to happen, the Des Moines radar is going to be up by now. If the Wooster is going to be able to clock me for that, or the Minotaur or whatever, then alright, fuck it, I'll bail. I, if y'all aren't going to be able to trade out with this dude like they trade out with me, then... You know, you had your DD, you fucked it up, that's on y'all. Um, one of the things I learned in the prior stream, which was about eight hours, if something has shown to you, this is not going to work, don't stay. Um, now if I was in something that could brawl the Kagero, if I was in something that could force a situation or get a kill, That'd be one thing, but one thing I've learned with this is, like, 
I just, I don't have the ability to force those plays. So, I'll leave this to the Salem Edinburgh. You know, they can bunker up and hold it and do whatever the fuck they're gonna do, but that's not something that I can do for them. So I'm leaving. Uh, if it was an even exchange between me and the CAG, it'd be different, but it wasn't, so... I'm not gonna mess with it. We could torp the Neptune. Still haven't seen the buffalo either, have we? Oh, he's dead. That's cool. Well, that's why we haven't seen him, because uh, he got murdered. Reporting the target position. Oh, it's 007 guy. Well, that would explain the accuracy. Mm, we might be dead here. With him taking this, like... Engine boost activated. Semi-aggressive position here. Torp lines in the Georgia either. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Okay, well, the DDs have clashed and died over here. Maybe I can fill that void. find something useful. Odds are he's not moving in. He had his window. He left. Or he didn't take it. I did kind of hope that with the uh, thinking the torpedoes had gone by. It's a Neptune radar? Okay. That might take shots. Don't have to worry about the Zao now. Should be dark very soon. Problem solved, sir. Engine boost deactivated. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Okay, well they started pushing up. Don't know where the CAG is. Hopefully held off or something. Neptune can radar A. It's getting hurt, so that's something. George is retreating. If they take that and I'm able to take A, that's actually a pretty decent swing. These dudes are stuck on the corner. I don't think they have lines in on us, especially since the Neptune just radared and he's kind of fucked off. Good night, Angelic. Good. That was a great battle. Also good. So, somebody asked me, uh, you know, what are the what are some basic rules for being a destroyer? Rule number one: don't die. Rule number two: no, seriously, don't die. 
Rule number three, I'm not fucking kidding, you really shouldn't die. And rule number four, bruh, we talked about this. It's like the first four rules of, you know, being in DD Club, don't die while being in DD Club. Um, which is pretty important. I mean, as silly and stupid as that is, it really is important. Um, so it, there were other games where I would have tried to force this flank and be like, I have two cruisers here, there's possibilities here, and yet, I would just be chipped down for it. So, in other destroyers, maybe. In other destroyers, I might have the, that opportunity and be able to pounce on it, but in this line, I have not been able to exploit that. Um, it's just not a line that can force the issue. It's a line that takes advantage of opportunities and can force opportunities, but it can't force, you know, unravel a knot all by itself. Um, or at least not in my experience. Maybe it's something that it can do and I just haven't learned how to do it yet. We don't know where the Neptune is, which could really be a problem. Knowing where the CAG is is important. Engine boost activated. So there's no crossfire at this point. I mean, we can throttle jockey this fucker to hell. That part I'm not worried about. So he lost a lot of health. You have torpedoes again. Which, since we know the radar is down, well, or did we outrun him? Whatever, it's down for now. Um, let's go ahead and do a torp line here. Might catch him. Keep the Neptune lit. They got some good damage in. We still have teammates that have a fair amount of health, they just didn't have a way in. That's pretty big. If the Georgie goes down, that's also a way in. We can't really duel the CAG unless he got his... Uh, unless he got some decent damage into himself as well. Uh, Georgie's gonna show a lot of, lot of side to a North Cal. Which is kind of weird. Mm, now they're just gonna charge each other. This might catch. If it does, that'd be nice. I think it does, but it's close. Alright, so that's pretty big. I don't want to open up here, because if I get chewed by secondaries, I just don't have the health to deal with it. And he's going to help farm this dude down. I want to help, though. Engine boost deactivated. Please don't ram. Please don't ram. So we didn't take secondary stuff. I was just concerned about the ram. <laughs> Taking the kills also fun, not gonna lie. Um, okay, so... Something down this line. Just trying to say, hey, this is my nearest. That's gonna be where the DD is. That's gonna be where the torps are coming from. Please don't get owned. Hello, Atius. So this CAG might be super close. Actually, yeah, I think... Good show. in five minutes I mean he's on this line is he, is he really all the way fucking over there because like how could this have been if this dude's over on that side of the map I mean maybe 
I don't know. But I'm really glad this worked out. I'm really glad that we left the flank that was not working for us. Found a flank that was working for us. Dodged a lot of bullshit getting to it, but we did. So that we could actually come in, take a cap, pull people around, bait out some radar, land a torpedo. I mean, stuff actually mattered, which was nice. No, I guess he's all the way out there. I don't think I can touch the cap in time. Sad times. Alright. But it's... I find with destroyers... If you can do crazy amounts of damage, great. But you do have to have a crazy amount of frontline pressure. You do have... you have to have a f an amount of presence. That part is definitely, uh, definitely important. And it's trying to figure out how to do that. Um, not getting yourself fucking killed in this damn line. Because <laughs> if you're in a gunboat line, you just walk over, kill the other DD. Just like, yep. Yeah. Walk up, take the brawl, kill the bitch, run away. Suddenly they don't have a DD, you do. I think he's on the other side of the rock. The question is if I torp this just to block him. Whatever. If it lives long enough, we take the cap. It's more experience. This is nice. It becomes more dangerous the longer it lives. Yes, but as do many ships. I mean, the less contested a ship is, the more freedom it has to go about doing its thing. So that's a general line of logic that's true, but it can sound deeper than it really is. Um, but yes, if a destroyer has nothing that can spot it, nothing that can run it down, nothing that can deal with it, then yes, it's extremely powerful because it can do whatever the hell it wants to do. Or it can pressure in the ways that it wants to pressure. Um, I just find that if I'm in a gunboat, I can pressure enemy ships as well as DDs. If I'm in a torpedo boat, I have to play with respect to the enemy's position. Because even this CAG could kill me at this point, because I got chunked, I just don't have the ability to uh, to take those fights. Which is interesting. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Well, 38 seconds. He smoked up. Just gonna try to farm the North Cal. Um, but this is a win, so that's hopeful. I was definitely concerned about this off the start, but I think transitioning was the good thing. Our victory is in sight. Am I enjoying the IJN torp boats? Uh. Not enjoying in the sense of like, man, I'm having, this is like a fucking roller coaster. I'm having the time of my life. But it's interesting because I'm trying to figure out how I can scrape influence in situations where I, I don't have influence to scrape. That to me is interesting.
That is correct, Unther. The less enemies that exist to be able to handle you, the more likely that you can do what you want. That is definitely true. If it's any consolation, the Kag used to be worse. Well, I don't think the Kagero is bad. Uh, I don't think the, uh, the ship itself is bad. Um, or maybe it could be, and I'm just not aware of it. The, the issue I'm having is not that. The issue I'm having is the playstyle. I'm trying to figure out how to milk it for what I can. So the Shikaku is an extreme threat to destroyers. The uh, rockets can hit 6 to 9k on a broadside DD. And routinely hit about 15 to 2k even on an angled destroyer. Um, I need to be in a situation where... Hmm. Needs to move. Because we're going to leave him. Yeah, the problem with the don't get spotted, use torpedoes, don't get spotted, is that that doesn't necessarily force a win. And the goal of the game is to win more than you lose. So how do you force a win? Spotting does not force a win. That's why when people say, CVs can spot, it's OP, it's broken, it's terrible. I can shine a spotlight on some little asshole on some corner of the map, and if nobody shoots him, nothing happens. Nobody cares. It's not about the fact that you can spot something. It's about what does the team do with it. So, that to me is where the disconnect is, because I need... I need to see some kind of results that I can enforce on the situation, other than just kind of looking at something. Looking at something's cool, but I need more than that. You didn't say it was a good playstyle, but it's the one that works for Kagero. Well, I mean, I can understand that, I guess. and murdered we know his hydro is up so obviously he's going to be able to dance around all this stuff cv's not going to be able to uh all stations retreat cv's not going to be able to kill a friesland especially not one in smoke we can't take the fight either by full isolate against the natago he just radios um for reinforcements right His move is late. He's gonna get pinched and killed. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Teammate, I need your support. So, he's going to torp the Lexington. Okay. Pop priority sector. Engine boost activated. I will be showing and going dark.
AP's going to know how to play. Can try to slow that down. Honestly, he turns in, so he probably jukes those torps. Maybe not. Because if you got your guns on your left side, you keep using your guns on the left side. Can outspot the Z. So that's certainly a thing we can do. This is such a late push, or a late rotation, whatever. There he is. This is just, I really dislike how long it takes to spot an enemy ship. Enemy destroyer sighted. This is definitely one of the situations where smoke would be useful. Attention, reporting the target position. You not have planes? Whatever. Engine boost deactivated. See if we can kind of save the, um... Critical engine damage! Problem solved, sir! Main turret critically damaged! Well, pulled him off the Balti for what it's worth, but I don't think it resulted in anything. All it did was get me killed instead of him. <clears throat> the enemy team has taken the lead. Can fly planes while using autopilot, dude. Oh, uh, whatever. He didn't play correct. <laughs> Can I explain to you how campaigns work? Sure. Well, we lose this. His rotation was late. Everybody left this side. Theoretically, they needed to move that way, but the DDs rotated away, so... I mean, there's nothing stopping that push. Just is what it is. Um, I could have stayed in front of him, but I wouldn't have been able to do anything. So, I guess there was a question about campaign. So, you just go to the campaign. You had a question about Halsey or something? Which is, um... Well, Yamamoto Halsey. So, Yamamoto. Go into the campaign section. Click on the thingy. Here's a campaign. Start at the first. Go down to the last. So you'll start here, you'll pick a task. The task will net you an amount of stars. If we look down... Let's see, where is this? should tell you an amount of stars it might just be one star per campaign so you're gonna go ahead and pick something you click on it you hit accept boop there'll be a thing over here and you just complete this you'll get a star if you don't want to complete other stuff you can just accept this again and then recomplete it get another star and just go through until you've completed this do the final task move to the next one same thing, pick a task, pick a task, pick, pick a task, move to the next one. That's all. You, you just go one by one all the way to the end until you finish this all and you get the, the ultimate reward. Uh, if you're premium, you can have up to three tasks at a time. If you're not, you can do up to two tasks at a time. That's all.
I don't know how long the keg is going to be locked up. <sighs> Do I want to keep playing reload? Torp reload booster. And me one torpedo hit on the Georgia, which the Georgia died before the North Cal did, so maybe there's that. Would have would smoke have helped me before? Was radared by the Des Moines, wouldn't have helped there. Was spotted by the enemy Kagero, could have helped there if I wanted to break off real quick. Could have disengaged. Radared by the Neptune, smoke wouldn't have mattered. Could have farmed the Georgia a little to try to help out if I had smoked up. And in that engagement, having smoke would have allowed me to exert cap pressure and also disengage from the DDs that were pushing. I might have been able to smoke the Baltimore? It's just the Japanese smoke is like, it's not super powerful, so... It's kind of awkward. Is it really something that I want to retain? Because where do I use it? Like American smoke, you can draw a nice long line, block off terrain. You can really give, use it to support ships, but this is kind of like German smoke where you pop it and then it's got this long ass cooldown. It's more of like an ambush smoke. Surprise somebody, do the thing, back off, reset, find a new spot. Which is significant. So, uh, there's no radar in this, yeah? Double Issei. Triple Issei. The last resort escape thing... I mean, I guess, but if it was a last resort escape, it doesn't need to last 80 seconds. It only needs to last, like, 20. Um... The problem with lasting 80 seconds is the cooldown is just so effing long. It's two and a half minutes. I mean, 80 seconds is long enough to kind of do something, but at the same time, kind of not. So, we're not going to be farming anything with our guns, which realistically means we'd be smoking other people. But it's short enough that they don't really get to, you know, stretch their legs very much. Or at least that's how I take it. Issei's going to light off in about 18 seconds. Maybe not. Maybe they'll hold it. But I mean, the planes are the cool, you know, the cool part of the Issei, so you would expect people are going to lift off as soon as possible. Try to do some scouting or torp something. Torps are still on an okay line. It was too far. He's going to get behind an island, so we will stop seeing him, although the Farragut Byron probably see him. Detection's different in this boat. Engine boost activated. Something I do forget. Just have to make sure that I lead just a little bit more. Enemy battleship detected. Might be a kill. if the other one hit. Does he burn out? He does, so he's dead. Enemy destroyer foundered. 
see. You say... Planes have not done the thing. They lost a DD, we lost a cruiser. Don't know where their Hatsuhara is. Aobazar RPF, he's closest. Not good. Plan okay? It's a little overlapped. It's more the role of the British smokes. Yeah, British smokes have brawly smokes. Where they can kind of do something, <clears throat> get engage get an engagement, <clears throat> and then bail. Engine boost deactivated. So where does the Aoba go here? All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Probably turns in, right? Who knows? Nope, turns out. I mean, you don't really want to, like, face check a battleship per se. But if he felt like he was going to win, he could face check. Not gonna get anything there. Can start to cap though. Does he feel that he's angled to the Dunkirk or something? Because he's not moving. Okay, we know where the Hatsu is. Smoke the Byron won't matter. Byron hasn't moved in forever, so he eats what? Two, three of those? Our victory is in sight. Okay. Shooting at the Nuremberg, not at me. They might be looking at me, but he's far enough away that it's probably okay. You shoot? No. Once he goes behind the rock, we'll go dark. Why is this dude full broadside? I mean, if the Dunkirk doesn't shoot a, uh... Torpedoes to starboard. AP, that might work out okay, but it's still confusing. I suppose I could just YOLO this guy, maybe? Might be turning there. That might be what, what's needed. Yeah, left too much of a gap. I ended up uh, overlapping the drop on the right side instead of filling the correct line.
Well, dude, if you don't give a shit about me, then, uh... I'm cool with that. I'm good for it. Enemy cruiser detected. Engine boost activated. Damn it! Problem solved, sir. So you don't know where the Hatsu is. Aoba is low. He said he might be able to clock the Aoba. Depends on what he's doing. Hmm. Nope. It's gonna be a problem. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. It resets. Which I did not get. I need your help, friend. I need a fucking cap. <clears throat> Teammate, I need your support. Engine boost deactivated. Stations requesting fire on the designated target. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Please get out from behind the rock. 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 Please. Every uh, capping the outer rings. So technically, that's good. Son of a bitch. Smoke generator started. Our victory is in sight. Smoke screen set. Teammate, I need your support. Come on, dude. Engine boost activated. <laughs> Concentrate fire on the enemy warship.
Need to lead more. Torpedoes astern. Critical engine damage. <sighs> Why does my background look like a classroom? Background. That? Uh, that's my room? Sure. Yeah, rank could take a while. What time is it over in Esconce land? 3.51 in the morning. Did we win that? Okay. So I'm actually going to change this to um, smoke. See how that plays. Will I use it? Will I care? I don't know. But I played a lot of Torp Reload Booster. See what smoke feels like. I have to admit, it's getting better. Getting better all the time. Why does my background look like a teacher or a classroom? Where did I see this? Ooh, it's tired. So, there's a TV. There's a thing for clothes. On top of it is a microwave. Uh, there's a mini fridge off in the back. There's a green screen I made when uh, we did the COTS cast recently. There's something from the bathroom because the wall's being redone or whatever. It's decorative shelfy thing. Uh, drums off in the distance. And the box that the mini fridge came in. Then we've got, what is that, an ottoman footrest, which is in front of a chair that has clothes on it, because I honestly can't be bothered to fold clothes very often, so I just kind of throw them on the thing and just grab them as I use them. My sense of fashion is highly, highly specialized. <clears throat> You think Candwee's been drinking? Maybe. Battle starts. Cleveland radar sucks. Cleveland radar doesn't. Minotaur might have radar. You never know. Enterprise can be a severe anti-destroyer threat. Rocket planes are very powerful. They're very accurate. They can hit a broadside DD for about 6 to 9k. Bombs are not a threat. Torps would be awkward. Though theoretically, if they hit, there's damage. It reminds you of your science classroom back in the day. Well, I think in all the bedrooms I've ever had, I might have put up a poster once. Usually I just leave the walls white. I don't give a shit. Um, there's some decorations here. I'll be honest. The amount of time that I use two-thirds of this room is extremely limited. Usually I just kind of sleep, sit at the desk, use the restroom, or I'm not here. So, pretty basic. Alright, enemy CV shown himself. Oh, we have smoke now. Oh man, that's weird. But it does mean that we can play a little more aggressively. It is down that way. Ooh. 
Do you like my folding style? Yeah, that I don't fold them. Same way with cooking, you know? It never really made a lot of sense to me. Uh, some people take a lot of joy out of cooking. So they'll spend 30 to 45 minutes to cook something they eat in four. Cool. Seems like a waste of time to me. So, sometimes I actually make something that takes a while to do, but typically I tend to eat stuff that's fairly quick. You can spot for the Haragumo. It's gotta be something between us. Although, why did it flash over there? Unless they're bailing, maybe? Okay, so the Cleveland pushed up and maybe bailed. You're not a big fan of spending more time cooking something than it takes to eat it? Radar from Talin? Radar is down. I'm a little surprised the Haragumo hasn't just smoked up the farm. There we go. You knew something was around here. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Acknowledged. I think the Akazuki only has one rack. Generator started. Many thanks. Main turret critically damaged. Smoke screen set. Now here's the question Will he use the smoke screen? My assumption is no. But. Might. Reporting the position of a strategic target. All stations reporting the position. Let's see if we can keep pressure on the Aki. Is the CAG pulled through? Keep up spotting. We could respot the Aki, that'd be nice. I think he came over to explore, not really to take advantage of. Aki's down there. I guess he's just gonna leave. I don't know, he's got better things to do. I mean, somebody called that there was something back there, but we have a Seattle Otago that can deal with it. So it's okay. Akazuki is down in this direction. I assume they're gonna handle this. You like good food, you don't like making it? All sure. Concentrate fire on the target. I don't even have the range to shoot.
think we lose him. Fuck. Engine boost activated. Come on. Teammate, I need your support. Set a smoke screen. Affirmative. Teammate, I need your support. Come on, dude, where are you going? Is he farming? He is. Interesting. What are you trying to do here, bro? Close you get, like, whatever. I assume his smoke is back up by now. Smoke generator started. Tried to slow him down, he doesn't care. This dude's just all about it. Whatever, Smoke Monarch's down. Set. He is okay. There's our friend. He's dead. I have to spot the Cleveland somehow. Hopefully these two deal with the Shima. I don't know, I didn't have a good read on what he was trying to do. Engine boost deactivated. I mean, if he kills him, right, nice. I wasted my smoke. This kind of sucks. I don't know, eventually they'll deal with him. We could get this respotted, plus we can start taking the cap. Super broadside. How dead is he? How dead are both of them? Not dead yet. Tone is bailing. Nice work. At least we spotted the torps a little early for him. So that's cool. Not dead, woo. Oh, he's controlling planes, not the ship. So he's just autopiloting right now. Probably to run the fuck away. Cat goes down, that's pretty sexy. We do have a smoke so we can cap Bravo. Enterprise kills the Hargumo? Maybe. Affirmative. Not sure how this one all plays out. Still quite healthy, which is cool. I don't know if the Minotaur is radar or anything, silly. 
Is our Shikaku even alive? I mean, he's going against a Minotaur, so he might just have lost all his planes by now. Bombs out for the lion. So we know the CV's not on top of us. Engine boost activated. You are RPF'd. Smoke generator started. He did good enforcing the smoke. Set. Might work out okay. So, Lion has to kill the Tone. Tone's PSV. Odds are the Lion probably outplays him. Or the Tone outplays the Lion. Tago dies. I don't think we have a way to kill the Minotaur. And Shikaku is probably deplaned. Infinite planes? I don't have smoke for the Seattle. Engine boost deactivated. Oh, okay, Shikaku is lighter than Minotaur. I mean, that could work out okay. <clears throat> if the Minotaur goes down, there's certainly possibilities that could happen here, especially against maybe the Izumo. I don't have smoke for this guy. I think... Him plus the CV outplays the lion, which is unfortunate, but I think it's just the way it is. Battle ends in five One of Torp lines on the Izumo. Need the Shikaku to matter, but he can't matter. I mean, I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures. Data. Lion might have crazy stupid fuck you healing. Maybe? Right? Maybe? Now if the Seattle has resets, which he doesn't. Come on, Shikaku, get the fuck in the game. Engine boost activated. That's right. Yeah, he's just spotting over there. Pulls the fighter, which is nice. Shots out again. Ah, 
Oh, okay. Did overshoot. That's useful. This will be the death. I get one. We get one. It sucks grinding a line because you're stuck waiting for the single ship. So. I tried to smoke the Itago, that didn't really pan out. I tried to smoke the Harugumo, that didn't really pan out. Smoke did help me take a cap though, so smoke was useful, which is good. <clears throat> Go back to the Fubuki. Buster? What is Buster? Buster is better. Booster. The Torp Reload Booster. Booster, like a ghost says boo, B O O. Boo. Getting so much better all the time. Getting better. Had, um,. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club ban in my head for like the last few days. Yeah, I was concerned about playing at four in the morning because there's just not going to be a lot of people playing. <clears throat> you don't understand what Somebody says one letter in English? You don't understand when somebody says one letter in English? Hmm. Getting so much better. Double CV. Midway bombs could be a concern. Rockets, not so much. Enterprise rockets going to be extreme. Student knows how to play. Mm, no radar, except for the Missouri. General quarters.
Oyster A might be good. I don't know if he's specced for it or not. That's not a good sign. Also not a good sign. CB's gonna be back to kill him. That's what those rocket planes are for. Engine boost activated. Get back! Get back! Get back! Jesus. That's useful. That actually hurt him pretty bad. At least he's turning now. I mean, I'm just gonna hopefully give this fuckhead a smoke. He just won't stop moving. At least he's falling back to be with the team. That's potentially useful. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Star knows what it's doing. That could be okay. No, Sprint DC took the shots. Radar by Missouri. About to get nailed. Did not shoot us though. What's he shooting? Enterprise losing a lot of planes there. Only so much that he can do. Missouri radar goes down soonish. Engine boost deactivated. Oh, that's the Yolo Emilio. Didn't lead enough. Mmm, Veneto mostly gets out. They're dark again. Attention! Reporting the target position. Torping the Veneto. And a little party sector hit in. Hummer looks like he goes down. Good. <sighs> Double DDs over there is also a problem. Didn't realize we had an Enterprise too.
Tony kills the oyster. Maybe not. We have a lot of like high-end clan folks in here. Ian, Star, PSV, REI. Kitakazi half. Probably counter the CAG in a way that we don't want to. Concentrate fire on the enemy. I need support. Well, he's playing scared, so we might get lucky. Although, if he's landing better shots than us, that's a problem. Torpedoes to port. Engine boost activated. Overexcelled? No. Problem solved, sir. We did live. It smokes were lit by uh, Enterprise planes. I think he blew his load. Smoke screen set. Requesting support. <sighs> nice work. Engine damage. Mm, this might be a kill. Not what the crossfire was. Well, if we completely lose this side, there's nowhere to fall back to, so... Maybe I just saw that and bailed earlier. If I did, the CV would have been off doing something else, because he showed up as I was engaging the Fletcher. Fletcher. If I bailed 30 seconds earlier, maybe I'd get out before this happens. Where would I get out to? I don't know. Some excellent players on their side, so not much we're going to be doing there. It's 4.30 in the morning, buff CVs. There's not a lot of people that play, so you're going to start having queue overloads or overlaps where you hit a certain amount of time. And then, um... Just going to go ahead and do it. I'm sick of waiting on one ship. Mm, 
could do this. It's fine. Yugamo. So what is the detection on this? Twelve, eight, and ten. I mean, I would just rather have that. Just go with the twelves. Do we care about this? Not really. The likelihood I'm going to be taking a 12 kilometer shot is fairly low. Guns fire much faster. That's nice. Turning isn't as anemic. Also nice. I can let that be what it is. Something like that, I think. So I used Booster on the Kagero for probably about four hours earlier today. And uh, I swapped to Smoke. I think I played maybe two games. I've only been playing for an hour and a half. Uh, so I'm going to carry that forward to the Yugamo and see what Smoke is like on this as well. Detection's 5-5. Five, five. So we lost a little detection from the Kagero. Gained a little health, but not much. There's no CV, so we don't have spotting. Cleveland and Atlanta both have radar. Neustra might outspot us. It's either 5-6 or 5-4. I don't remember. I just know it's very good. Sashio, we might outgun. Shiritsuyu, we probably do because it's tier 7. But at the same time, I mean, this thing... Japanese torp boat's not really going to win any awards for its gunplay. 5-6? Five, well, 5-6 five, is pretty much effectively 5-5 five, five as far as the game's rendering is concerned. Because it's going to take, you know, 5 seconds or a few seconds before it actually shows up. Mizzou with radar? Oh, Missouri. Okay, sure, there's that too. So we are RPF'd, what would that be? Could be the Atlanta Cleveland? Could be one of the Japanese torp boats. I mean it could be any destroyer, just which destroyer would it be? Nustrashimi maybe for clan battles? Sashios often takes RPF. Well, I've taken RPF so that I know where the enemy DD is, so that I can try to play with my concealment in respect to their concealment. So I do actually find that to be important. Uh, so I could understand, you know, if it's one of the Japanese that are taking RPF, because that's literally what we're doing. If 
he's wide. We don't... I don't know if we can take any of these fights. Okay, we see the Neustra. We do have smoke, so I suppose we could try to be aggressive. Worst case, we just break off. Corpse are down, though. A blind shot. But, if we have RPF and they have RPF, then they know exactly where the fuck we are. It's definitely not the Atlanta, it's definitely not the Missouri. The fuck? Okay, well we are capping, that's cool. What the shit is this? How incredibly fucking aggressive is that? That's gotta be the Asashio. Right? It has to be the Asashio. Otherwise he wouldn't have backed off the cap. Ooster would have wanted to brawl. Yeah. This dude's coming up mid so he can go torp battleships. Okay. Engine boost activated. Well, we can uh, see what the Yugamo feels like. Duck behind an island. Yeah, it is an Asashio. Protected by the Missouri. Do that and keep forcing the engagement. Sashio doesn't want to play. Rear two guns should hit. Well, some of them anyway. Neustra smokes here? Or not. The ship is on fire! So the Neustra has amazing healing. However, that's kinda all it has. Is he torp or what? That hits on the Missouri. Engine boost deactivated. I need help. If he shoots me. He just, he doesn't have the damage to fight. He just, he has the healing to outlast, he doesn't have the damage to fight. That's a kill. He didn't torp, I guess he blew his torp somewhere else. Oh, that's, that's the torps. There we go. Problem solved, sir. Well, ZF6 and me absolutely fucking dumpster this dude. Because he can't torp. He can't do anything. Sure. Main turret critically damaged. Hey guns, turn the fuck around. Don't have to worry about that now. Well, at least... Shooting at stuff sucks less, but in this particular instance, we just... 
we had the better guns, which was nice. That was a enjoyable change of pace. Well, to be fair, if I didn't have uh, if I didn't have RPF, I mean, who the fuck would have expected this dude to YOLO up mid? Like, why would you do that? Sometimes the unexpected can be extremely powerful. So we get one full cap, one contest, or one partial. Um, looks like the Missouri's going down. Still a lot of lot of enemies on the board, although this feels fairly dominant. Cleveland bails, he goes down. Uh, don't need to waste torps on the Cleveland. Mostly we just need to see what we can do over here. Atlanta's a big threat. Oster's a real threat. Ooster's a real threat. San Luis is a threat. Chiritsuyu we could probably kill, but then again we're pretty beat up. Where's the ZF going? What's over there? Well, ain't this a bitch. He's just not paying attention to us. That's positive. Okay, uh, didn't foresee that fun turn of events, so that was poor play on my part. Could have absolutely been sandwiched between those two in a most unpleasant fashion. I think we might be in radar range of the Cleveland right now. I was kind of hoping that the ZF-6 was going to shadow the Cleveland, but I can see that was definitely the aggressive path. I just the last saw the last we saw the Cleveland he was bailing, uh, so I Torpedoes, kind of assumed he was going to keep doing that. Torpedoes to port. I think he's going to retake. If he's not shadowed, I think he retakes. Okay. How do we shadow the Cleveland without getting killed? I need intelligence data. Can you just pre-radar, please? Just so we know where the hell the bad guys are. Please. Teammate, I need your support. The fucking Cleveland. Started. God damn it. Mm. Whatever. Just not reading the Cleveland at all. At least the guns don't suck. I needed to shadow this guy. That's what I needed to do. When he went into the south, I needed to swing wide and just shadow this guy. I don't think of Cleveland stealth radars. I don't think. Um, so if I'd have just been able to latch onto this guy, like that's the second time he was in an extremely problematic uh, position. For me anyway. And he's right back dark again. So, that was probably the thing I needed to do. 
I just didn't realize he was going to be that impactful. Our Cleveland goes down. I think we lose this game. Because unless our battleships nail some shots, like, the Cleveland and the St. Louis probably don't go down. St. Louis probably don't go down. I don't know. Not sure how this pans out. I don't think we win. Not not based on what I'm seeing. Mm hmm. Needed to shadow the Cleveland. Hey, Jedich. Uh, tough. This is a weird line. Cleveland has a 9.3 detection. Oof. Well, he used it well. Because I, I kept misreading him. Okay, it looks like he's running. It looks like he's just running to safety. He doesn't want to die. Oh, looks like he's actually turning in that he might be looking to uh, deal with the destroyers and back cap. Nope. Looks like he's going B to rejoin with his team and provide radar coverage to allow them to play. Like, three different misreads, one after another. Granted, it's 4.43 in the morning, so I'm, I'm not going to be at a million and a half percent, but... Oh, still, you gotta try. Have to admit, it's getting bad, see? He is turning around while you were behind the island and being ass in rather than face into him would have been something at least. Which island? You mean in Bravo? Well, the reason I turned the way that I did in Bravo was because I assumed that with myself and the Cleveland, we could pinch play the Shiritsuyu. I didn't expect the Oyster to be there, although frankly I could have. We hadn't seen the oyster in a while, so that's absolutely a thing that could have been, you know, it's absolutely a thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, the reason I didn't go north was because I felt the Cleveland was going north. I was going for the pinch play, and I had assumed that the Cleveland was going to back cap. That the Cleveland was going to bully the ZF-6 with radar, and that the ZF-6 would acquire him and start dancing with the Cleveland. But that is not what happened. Why am I up so early? I think I fell asleep around 8 o'clock and woke up at 3.30 in the morning or something. I mean, it was an interesting day playing the, uh, the IJ and Torp line. It's just, I still don't. I still don't know how the fuck to force wins with it. And I know people can, because there are people that have positive win rates in the, the IJ and Torp line. So it's either a play style that I don't have or a play style that I don't understand. So, I mean, part of it's just trying to figure it out.
Double small? You wanted the cruiser to pre-radar, and when he wouldn't, you might have made the judgment that with the situation uncertain and in regards to your remaining health... That's true. He didn't pre-radar, we didn't know what we were going into, and because we didn't know what we were going into, I could have played much more conservatively. I'd already gotten out lucky with the Atlanta-Cleveland crossfire that didn't happen. So sure, could have done that. We are RPF'd. What would that be? Shimmer? So we do have a small. Uh, so if we run across something, then we do have that going for us. And this actually feels quite a bit more maneuverable, which is nice. Kind of missed that. Is there double small? Sound might have RPF? Nope. DD's over there now. All forces, capture that area. Set a smoke screen. So, big problem. Can't spot the Shima in front of a Zalvergon. If I had smoke, maybe, but I don't. Engine boost activated. Slow down into the shots. Problem solved, sir. Small just completely had to fuck off. I didn't read that situation well. At least that missed. Which is nice. Why didn't he smoke? Scared of Shimikaze Torps, maybe? I probably shouldn't be playing right now. Torps on the curve first, maybe? Critical engine damage! Enemy battleship detected. Engine 
Problem solved, sir. Who was the Holland RPF? Nope, still the Shimma. Shimma's gotta be out there, and I can't fucking deal with him. Because the... Torpedoes because of that starboard. stuff behind. Whatever. I mean, if he overextends, we could. We just have to pick where we would want him to overextend. Right? We just can't take the fight while he's on top of these dudes, but if he's over here or something, then we could absolutely run that down. There's the Shima. No? Harigumo, okay. Torpedoes astern. Our team has taken the lead. Well, definitely can't duel Haragumo. Not straight up with uh, half health. But at least we know we're not outspotted by him, so that's positive, right? Zhao's dead, that's pretty cool. Secret Agent Shima, maybe? Is that what happened? Yeah, you gotta kill. We got two on the Harugumo there. That's not bad. Maybe 14k? One more heal, it's not a full heal. No, still can't fight the Harugumo. But we can hold these guys back. This is surrounded. We don't have to make an aggressive play and end up doing something stupid. Well, I didn't actually... Well, okay. There we go. He's gonna start shooting so we can go ahead and pop the heal. Critical engine damage! And finish the Haru, but we can't kill the Haru. Well... We did kill him, I guess. One on the nose... So we did something there. I mean, we were able to work on the Holland when we had more friends than he had. Because initially, I think I, I took the engagement down here. And we had some battleships and the small had fucked off. So it's like, friends, friends, we, we got dumpstered. But he got overconfident, pushed up, we were able to spot him. And we had like a, a Kerfer, so all the secondaries and silly shit for that. And we were able to take that down. So, I just, I need to pick my positioning better on the spotting. What's the beast mission? Uh, so the Battle of the Beasts, whatever, there's a commander. And this week, there's a six-point Fuer Poots commander mission thing if you watch certain co uh, community contributors. And I'm one of the ones for this week, so... If you watch those community contributors cumulatively for, I think it's four hours, um, 
you will get the mission or whatever to get the six point commander dude. <sighs> so we'll go back to this purgatory. Is what PTS? Is this mode active now? What are you talking about? I was just in randoms. Confused. Well, getting the two torps into the Haraguma was actually pretty cool. Um, we could have probably angled away. Uh, or maybe angled in. People don't seem to understand very well how to shoot at like the 50 to 65 degree angle. They tend to be a little weirded out where to place the cursor. 